So missing in action, Dale. 75 year old Dale. Quadruple chin Dale. Cowboy Dale. I'm a cowboy, baby. Always likes to change the bet. I don't know what it is with these Mama Lukes. <laughs> it's like we make bets and they change them. Chad Clifford, same thing. It's like we make a bet. I'll give you an example. Let's start with the pool bet. Okay. So I said I have a pool. It in ground swimming pool. It's worth $75,000. Okay. Dale said it's worth $12,000, $15,000. Okay. So I made him a bet. I said, Dale. Hire a professional pool contractor, someone who has a great track record of success. He's been doing it for many years at your expense because he's confident. I mean, it has to be at his expense. I'm not going to pay for it, right? He's the one who's, who's doubting me. He's the one saying your pool's not worth 75000 So at your expense, hire a very, very seasoned professional pool contractor, someone that I can verify, you know, that has at least 10, I would say, very positive reviews of installing pools in, in a year, Okay. And that that would qualify. Then let him come to my house. Let him then give an appraisal of what my in-ground swimming pool is worth in his professional opinion. And then go to Dale's house, right? And then to give an estimate of of how much it would cost the professional pool contractor. You get it? Okay. That's the bet. How much it would cost him to install a comparable pool at Dale's house. Okay. So I made Dale a bet. I said, Dale, if you could do that, and it comes in that my pool's worth like 12000 like you said, or 15000 that I would pay for your pool. Okay, so that was the bet. Okay, Dale completely mixes up the entire bet, you know, pulls it, frigging, you know, squeezes it, which he does with a lot of things. <laughs> I'll let you be the determination in your mind of what I'm talking about, of what he's squeezing and what he's pulling. But anyway, let's put all that aside. Dale changes the bet. Dale says, I will dig a ground personally myself in my backyard. I'll just make my own pool. I will go to the cheapest online, you know, warehouse and I'll buy the cheapest parts. And yes, so he came at, he came up with an estimate, right? A guy who has no experience installing pools, which was not the bet. It had to be someone extremely experienced, right? Tremendous track record of success installing at least 10 pools in the same year and getting all positive reviews. Dale changes the bet. Changes the bet. Says, I'm going to be the person. I've never installed a pool in my life. I'm going to dig a hole in my backyard, okay? And I'm going to buy the cheapest parts that you could possibly buy online in the most shittiest places. <laughs> that you could, most likely scams, okay? And, you know, all terrible reviews I saw in this place that he, that he was talking about. And I'm going to install it myself. And he says that, and yeah, that I guess he could do it for like, whatever, twelve five or 15000 okay? But that was not the bet, okay? So now we have another situation. <laughs> and, and I want you to know that Chad Clifford does the same shit. Exactly the same shit as Dale. And it's funny because he's always responding to every Dale's video. Like, Chad Clifford loves freaking Dale long time. The two of them love each other a long time. If you know what I mean, love it. Touch it, squeeze it, each other. I'll let you figure that out. But anyway, so here's the new bet. Dale Dale just decides to combat that me spending $100 at Wendy's makes me poor. I understand something. I'm not saying nothing to nobody. I'm just going out like I always do and buying a shitload of fast food. I'm not involving Dale in this shit. He's involving himself. He's like, look, you're poor. Okay, so so I want you to understand what this what his comments are. It's very important that you understand. He's not saying that I'm skinny. He's not saying I'm fat. The, the direct response is that the amount of money, this has nothing to do with my appetite, my appearance, which, by the way, I don't think he thinks highly of, but that's irrelevant. What is relevant is he's saying the amount of money. That's the relevant factor here that I spent $100 on Wendy's, he clarifies that and states it as being poor. So I challenged him on that fact. I said, so then what would not be poor, Dale? I said, maybe spending double that amount, right? Spending $200, okay? So I made him a bet. I said, Dale, why don't we do this? And it's not about eating the food. Like I said, I would donate the food. I understand, Dale's trying to say, I can't eat, I can't eat, the most I can eat is $20 worth of Wendy's. That's not relevant, okay? The relevant point is you're saying it's poor. You're saying I'm poor. 
that I spent a hundred dollars at Wendy's. So I said, Dale, here's here's the new bet. Okay. Spend two hundred dollars at Wendy's, make a video. Now, what I will do is we'll have a competition. Because again, I want all of you in YouTube land to understand what the point is. The point is, is he saying I'm poor? I'm poor. That's the point. Okay, so here's the bet. The bet is I spent a hundred dollars at Wendy's. Double that since since you're not poor, right? It's not about appetite. Understand this. Because that's what he's... I want you to see how he's trying to deflect. He's trying to make it seem that the reason he is not going to spend $200 at Wendy's is he does not have the appetite. Appetite for destruction. Guns and roses. Welcome to the jungle. He doesn't have the appetite to eat more than $20 worth of food at Wendy's. But again, <laughs> that's not the relevant point. The relevant point is he's saying I'm poor. Do you all understand this? Spending $100 at Wendy's makes me poor. Not about how much I can eat. It's not about how much Dale can eat. I'm poor. So it's about just money. That's what I'm saying to you. So Dale should be rich enough, correct? Would you all agree, since he is a superior person of wealth, that he can easily spend $200 on Wendy's. And it doesn't it doesn't matter. I know he's going to try to tell all of you, well, I don't have that big of an appetite. I can't eat 200. Give it away. Don't eat. I'll tell you what, Dale. Then he tries to make another point. He goes, there's not even going to be enough people in Wendy's. This is what he says. To do. Okay, so Dale, here's what you could do. You could put $200 on one Wendy's gift card. This is what you could do. And I'm sure there's going to be one person there, Dale. <laughs> Dale! You fat mother effing, you triple chin, quadruple chin that you probably could eat $200 worth of Wendy's. He's trying to now deflect again. So here's the first deflection. I cannot eat more than $20 worth of Wendy's. Second deflection, even if I was going to give the food away, most likely there will not be enough people in Wendy's for me to give $200 worth of food. That's bullshit, right? Who agrees with that? That's bullshit. Everybody's going to take food. But if you want to make it easy, you friggin' Indiana Jones, RuPaul, cow, I'm a cow, boy. You want to make it easy? Here's how you make it cheesy and easy. You get one $200 Wendy's gift card, and you could, you know what? Why don't you give, this is a good way for you to get subscribers. Give it away to one of your subscribers, Dale. Like, I've done many times. I don't do it anymore, but I used to do, I used to do the eight trivia. I gave away $250 one time, okay? I, you know, do that. Give away $200 Wendy's gift card to you to give it away. And we all know you're going to give it away to the biggest meat lover of all time. Chad Clifford, and when I say meat lover, you know I'm not talking about hamburgers. Oh! But Dale has every excuse in the world. So once again, he weasels. Then he's talking about his 1095. What the F-U-C-K? What does a 1095 have to do with this wager? He's like, you can't show your 1095. <laughs> this is what Chad Clifford did. Chad Clifford one time made me a bet, right? He goes like this, because I got... I got on Commander 35. I'm like, Commander 35, you claim you made $1.5 million, right? You know, whatever it is. Redbox, friggin' GTI, I made a quarter of a mil. I said, I have $4,000 in my wallet. I, I pulled it out. I showed it. I said, Commander 35, you cannot show $4,000. You can't. You cannot make a video show $4,000 in cash. Chad Clifford got very upset. He says, Rich, I will withdraw $8,000, he said, tomorrow. So with that said, I withdrew $10,000. Okay, this was the first time around. So I said, Chad, I'm gonna I'm gonna withdraw ten. Now I said to Chad Clifford, show me more than ten. Chad Clifford didn't respond. He, first of all, he never even withdrew the eight thousand. Just want to be perfectly crystal clear. So then I said, Chad, ten thousand is not enough. I withdrew twenty thousand. <laughs> I said, now Chad, you go withdraw twenty five thousand or thirty thousand if you want to be a real hot shot. You know, looking for some hot stuff, baby. To see him. Hey, well, Chad Clifford never did that. It said, Chad Clifford was very proud that he spent $2,700, I guess, on tires. And by the way, it was that he charged it. He didn't spend it in cash. It was like some friggin', uh, I don't know what, what, what company he uses, you know, Goodyear or some shit. It's like he charged $2,700 on his Goodyear card. Do you see how these mother effers change everything around and deflect? That's all they do. 
So instead of Chad Clifford doing what the bet was, which drawing more than $20,000, Chad Clifford on his Goodyear card was very proud that he was able to charge $2,700, of which he's paying off over the next 30 years for his friggin' four tires, okay? Same thing with Dale. Dale claims, I can't eat more than $20 at Wendy's. So rich, I'm not going to do it. And even if I would give this money away, there would not be enough people at Wendy's for me to give away $200. Here's the bottom line. It all was bullshit. It was an effing joke. And when I think of you, Fatso Dale and friggin' Young Gun Chad, I hope you both effing choke. Video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner, but I am the greatest entertainer who has ever lived on planet Earth and the entire universe, the one, the only, a father in the house, baby. Wow!